The pisiform is the smallest carpal bone and the last carpal bone to ossify. It sits at the medial aspect of the proximal row at the base of the hypothenar eminence and is located at the medial border of Guyon's canal. It lies at the palmar aspect of the triquetrium and in a plane that is anterior to the other carpal bones. It is a sesamoid bone within the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris. It has a slight distal lateral long axis. It's divided into a body, a lateral groove, also known as a pisiform groove, and an articular facet for the triquetrium. In this video, we're going to use a left bone and a right hand specimen. The dorsal surface contains a flat, oval-shaped articular facet for the triquetrium. The only bone the pisiform articulates with is the triquetrium. The palmar surface is rough and round and provides attachment for a number of soft tissue structures, including the flexor carpi ulnaris and the abductor digiti minimi. It also provides attachment for the piezoelectric metacarpal and the piezo hamate ligaments, as well as the ulnar collateral ligament and some fibers of the flexor retinaculum. The pisiform groove is located between the body and the facet on the radial side. It allows for passage of the ulnar artery. The ulnar artery provides vascularity with branches entering the proximal and distal surfaces. Upon entering the bone, the vessels will often anastomose and form an arterial ring that lies deep to the articular facet. Fractures are often treated conservatively with cast immobilization for four to six weeks. In cases of chronic pain or complications such as post-traumatic arthritis, a pisiformectomy can be performed, in which a pisiform is excised. To determine the side, you simply pick up the bone and you hold the articular facet so it's directly pointing at you, or you can also say you're looking directly at the articular facet. And then, the bulk of the non-articular area should be pointing up. So again, you pick up the bone, you find the articular facet, the bulk of it would be this area, and this is pointing up, and then you find the lateral groove, or the pisiform groove, and that will actually point to the side from which the bone came from. So in this case, here's your articular facet, here's the bulk of it pointing up, and your, and your groove is pointing left. So you know that this would be a left bone.